Hello everyone, my name is Megan. Thanks for joining me today. Um, this is the review of the Urban Decay on the Run palette, but before we get started with that, I wanted to announce the winner of the giveaway. Now, I recorded this once already, and I screwed it up and recorded it in slow-mo, so that's not what you want. Anyway, I did a random number generator, and it was number seven. So I'm going to contact the person that left the seventh entry. Let's get to the review. Um, this is the Urban Decay On The Run Shortcut Palette. This was the one that really spoke to me before they showed all three. It was like this one and always this one. Um, I've used it about four times now and I've played around with every shade a couple of times. I have it on today with some glitter liner and I'll discuss in the review what I'm wearing so you even know what I'm talking about. Okay, so first this costs $25 and it has eight shadows um, and they're right here, comes with a mirror, the packaging's uh, cardboard packaging with a magnetic closure. Okay, I'm gonna turn you around and let's start talking about these eyeshadows. Okay, so here is the palette. Now, we are going to start in the upper corner here, and this is Sin. Sin is an existing shade, and they're single shadows. It's a kind of satin finish, and it performs nice. It's soft, and it's a good inner corner all over, all over sh the lid shade. I'm not happy with this lighting. There we go. So that is Sin. Sorry, the lighting is really messed up today. Next we have Laced. This is another one that is existing in the range already. It's super light. I mean, it shows up, but you really have to build it. But it, for the most part, it's, it's, a, it's a good shade. Then we have Shortcut. Now this was the color that really drew me in, was this kind of mauve light pink. Um, like Laced, you have to build this one up. And even on my super pale skin, that was like a really um, heavy swatch. Sorry, it's kind of a fail today. Okay, then we have After Party. Now, now After Party is what I put all over my lid today. And it is a, it's like a gunmetal gray and it has shimmer to it. Um, I don't know how well that's gonna pick up. But it, I mean, there are some like reflex in it when you see it in person. So that is the top row. The second row we have Back Alley. And it's a matte, pretty basic brown. Performs really well. I mean, the mattes in this palette perform really well. I think Loaded takes building just because it's such a light color, and I use that to um, blend out my crease shade today. Then we have Rendezvous. Rendezvous is drier, and it has more um, kind of like purple in it. It doesn't um, go on as smooth as Back Alley. Um, it takes more building. And I use this to blend out the um, after hours today. But yeah, it's drier, it's not as buttery. Okay, then we have Gash, and this is Okay, well, if, if you watch any of my videos, you know what a big Gwen Stefani, no doubt fan I am. And if you are a fan, you will know about Gash and uh, how Gwen wore it through um, the mid-90s, especially on the Tragic Kingdom tour. 
And so I was super keen to get this. And I know it's like an existing shade, like their OG shades. Now, it's it's a metallic. Um, it takes some building to get it pretty opaque. So let me try to build it up. So there it is built up a bit. Now, I'm trying to get a, a true kind of idea for you. Now I looked up the description and it says like a, a dark like burnt brick red. And that's not really the shade that Gash the lipstick is, which was disappointing. The lipstick has a lot more pink in it, and that's why I wasn't a huge fan of the lipstick when I bought it back in the day. I actually have a lip kit um, that has gash in it, if I can get it open. So this is gash. See that dark one? There is a shimmer in gash. I mean, unless they changed it, from when I bought it many years ago. Okay, let's do this left-handed. It's gonna be a challenge. I'm gonna put it above because I'm gonna mess it up. See how much more pink that is? It's like the eyeshadow. It's, it is how it's described on the website. The single is more of a brick red. But Gash is not a brick red exactly. It's got a lot more pink and the eyeshadow has more orange or brown in it. So there you go. Also next to it, I want to swatch um, in the Troublemaker palette. Let's set this aside. There is a color called Girl Crush. And this one is kind of what I was hoping Gash would be. Can you see the difference? Girl Crush is slightly more pink. And when I wash them off, this looked orange and this looked more pink when I just clean my hands after swatching and comparing them. So, yeah. Gash is a bit of a letdown. Um, I'm actually gonna depot uh, the Troublemaker palette. This also has After Hours in it. And really I wanted it for these colors, um, but I'm gonna keep these. I mean, Back Alley's very similar to Knockout as well. There are definitely similarities in this palette besides the fact that they both have after hours. Anywho, let's talk about Zone, okay? Zone is meant to be a transformer. Now, okay, I've used, this is super dry shadow, and I did a really heavy swatch right there. I feel like do that so you can really see um, how sheer it is now I have it on my lids today over after party I just won't give you a good look let me just show you so that is it over after party so it does transform. It's very hard to um, pick up on camera, like the shimmers in it. There are, it's, it's multiple shimmers. To get this to look like this, you wet your brush and you build it up and it will. And it's very pretty. Because it's so dry, and it is very sheer. All of these shadows are pretty dry. There's like no dimethicone in them. But it's a little disappointing. Um, I didn't know it was meant to be a transformer. It's pretty. 
I don't know. I mean, overall, I wouldn't have known these things about the shades unless I had used this. Swatching them uh, on your fingers, even on my hand, they look one way. Um, this is really crumbly, but I mean, it wipes away okay. Gash is kind of crumbly and it wipes as well as after hours, gash more so. After hours, it has a little bit more creaminess to it. I rarely do my eyeshadow first because of fallout and you have to with these two. You just, you just got to. Um, so for the most part, I'm happy with this palette. You know, I didn't need this. I actually forgot it was in the Trouble uh, Maker palette. I didn't need Back Alley. I like Sin as a color. I like, I mean, I like lace. It's a good color to blend things out or set your eyeshadow, I guess. The, sh the look I got using um, Laced, Sin, and Back Alley is actually really pretty. I liked it as a nice neutral look. It's, you know, like if I'm on the run, I'm going to need a lot of brushes to make this palette really good. Unless I'm going for something super neutral with like these. I would uh, swatch it in store. Just know that this is not a regular shimmer. It's a very sheer uh, transformer shade, but if you wet it and pack it on, it, it does become that. And it's got some beautiful um, shimmer reflex of different colors. It, it is really pretty. Um, I don't need it, but I like it. I'll probably depot it in the future. I bought this instead of the cherry. I hadn't bought any Urban Decay eyeshadows in so long besides the Troublemaker, and those are okay. I like Urban Decay a lot, but their eyeshadow formula has never been my favorite. The mattes I do like a lot, but the shimmers, they're just too dry for me, you know? So that's really all I have to say about it. Um, like I said, I am wearing it today with the, um, I have a rendezvous uh, on my lower lash line. I did get some black out of the uh, soft glam palette to try to deepen it up. It didn't layer over after party very well. Because uh, I do like black eyeshadow, I like gray eyeshadow, so um, I was all about it. Rendezvous through the crease and then loaded, I did to blend out Rendezvous. Sin is my inner corner highlight. For only having eight shadows, you can get quite a variety of looks out of this. I'll put a couple that I did um, up on the screen. I didn't take a picture of that neutral look, but it was really pretty. I was really happy with the way it turned out. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful to any of you who are thinking about picking up this palette. I know the other two also have these transformer shades of some type in them. I don't know. I don't think they're really necessary. You know, I can layer make a, I can layer eyeshadow anyway, but mm, I don't know. Kind of gimmicky, kind of gimmicky. So. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Uh, the light is fading very quickly. It's a miserable winter day in Wisconsin. I'd love to have you if you want to go ahead and subscribe, like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.